Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip explains how to use Excel for calculating velocity in physics. So, in Excel we will have, uh, we need to measure distance, and that will be in meters, and that doesn't quite fit the cells, but I can make stretch that cell out larger to match the size if I need to. And we have a um, timestamp. On the video clip, when we record, we can use that to find out the times in between each cone, for example, on someone running. And then we will find a change in the distance, how far it was between that cone and the next one, and we have a velocity of meters per second. Okay, so let's say we start out with, we see the time on the clock when someone goes past the starting line, and then after 10 meters we have we can have a time, and after maybe there's a 30 meter mark and a 60 meter mark. Okay, so the timestamp might be uh, 2.1 when they, so we have to start filming before they start running, and maybe it was going for two seconds before they started running. And then when they got past the, the first marker, it was the timestamp would say 4.5. Then this next marker, the timestamp on the film said 8.4. And the timestamp on the next one said 19.6 19 or something like that. Okay, so that the distance here is zero. The distance here is um, a 2. 3, I have to do an equals first, A3, so it's that 10 meters, minus A2. So the distance that they went was 10 meters. If I stretch that corner, grab onto that corner and drag it down, it says, okay, between 30 and 10 is 20 meters, and between 60 and 30 is 30 meters. So um, the time here would be B3 minus B2. So it's the 4.5 minus the 2.1. And then I can do that same thing for each of the next ones. Okay, so now this is the how much time between this cone and this cone. This is how much time between this cone and this cone, and so forth. So the velocity here will say it's zero. And the velocity here would be the distance divided by time. So the distance is d3. And we're going to divide that by the time, which was 2. Well, I could type 2.4, but I want to put in a no c3. Because then I can just copy that down and do that same for all the others. Now watch this, if I change this one to a different time, that probably makes a little more sense because then this velocity is continuing to increase. So he started out slow and got, so his average between these two cones was 4, average between these two cones was 5, and just a little bit past 5 on these next two cones. So he's pretty much up to speed by the time he hits the 30 meter mark. It stays at that about that same speed for the next 30 meters, the same velocity.